petty with your time. What up world? Welcome back to Be Less Petty TV. I'm your girl Kelly Howard and today is Tiny Tip Tuesday. That's where I share with you a tiny tip in hopes to help you live your life a little less petty. And today's tiny tip is be the bigger person. Now, this is more of a challenge than it is a tip. I challenge you to take the next seven days and be the bigger person. Yes, in every altercation, I don't care what it is. If somebody's trying to cut you off in traffic and you don't want to let them go, stop and let them go ahead of you. If somebody uh, bumped your car at Target and gave you a snooty look, take a deep breath and walk away. I am challenging you to be the bigger person. I really honestly believe that there are thousands of millions of people, billions of people walking around here with chronic emotional distress just because they want to be right or they want the situation to be excessively fair. Some shit just don't need that amount of energy. You just don't need to put it into it. Like, yeah, fairness as far as like everyone should have equal rights. Absolutely. Fair is like people should be able to choose who they want to marry regardless of sex. Absolutely. Those are things that we should get really enraged about. But some of the other menial stuff we waste so much energy on because we our pride is so big. And so I challenge you to be the bigger person this week in every situation you find yourself coming across, whether it is a conversation with your mate and somebody's getting a little bit enraged and you're like, calm down. No, you calm down. Then you calm down. You be the one to calm down. Uh, if it's a situation where your kid then pissed you off, figure out a way to cool down first before you go and discipline them. Take a moment, take some breathers, go meditate, then come back and have a civil conversation with them about whatever it was that they did that was unjust. So I dare you to be the bigger person this week. The reason why this is important is because I want you to kind of see how it affects your body. I used to drive like a bat out of hell. Still do kind of if I'm running late, but I mean, it was so bad. Like excessive endangerment type speeds, 30, 50 miles over the speed limit. Like I'm not proud to voice this out on the internet, but terrible. And what I didn't realize is that I had developed a chronic body response and emotion to being in the car and feeling that way. And it would happen so quickly that I didn't even know that I got so mad or so enraged and so tense. And then I would just you know, the next moment would come and I would be calm because I had gotten in such a habit of doing this, driving this way, empowering the road. I had gotten such a habit of doing that, that it became a part of like my entire existence. So now I have to consciously be the bigger person. So I'm daring you to do the same thing. That is this week's Tiny Tip Tuesday. Be the bigger person. Hmm, I'm so curious to see what happens. Thank you so very much for tuning in to Be Less Petty TV. I'm Kelly Howard, and I'll see you back here sooner than later. Bye! With your mind. Be less petty with your blame. All that petty shit is love. Be less petty with your friends. Love first. Make amends. Be less petty with your life. Be less petty with your wife. Okay. Be less petty with your mom. Be less petty with your job. Be less petty. Be less petty. Be less petty, baby.